to the channel. Wow, look at that. You don't like the weather in Ohio? Wait like a couple hours. I mean, it's the next day clearly, but sunny, no rain. Um, if you guys missed that video or just didn't watch it, look at this paint on our Tahoe. We did the three-step polish on this fender and that door. This door could probably be done a little bit better because it started raining when we did it, but look at, look at that, guys. Really brings out all the flake. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, it just looks stunning now. And then you come over to like right here. Uh, yeah, look at that. So we're gonna be dealing with some of that today, trying to get all that out, get this paint back to normal. That looks absolutely awful. This is the whole Tahoe. This is what we got our paint back to, which is absolutely unreal. So that looks stellar. We cut up Katie's bed yesterday. We gotta get to the scrapyard. So we're gonna head there now, unload this really quick, make about $2, and uh, yeah. This should be interesting, because I'll actually be able to take my truck on a scale for once. She also probably strapped that down. Ben, you still haven't picked up your uh, ratchet straps, so thank you. I'm gonna use them. This isn't gonna be like certified or anything. I'm just trying to keep most of it in the bed. So obviously the, the truck bed's in my bed, but 9,320 pounds, holy crap. That's a lot of weight. 9,040 pounds, 9,060 pounds. Holy crap, this truck is 9,060 pounds unloaded. Oh. Now my question is, why are truck beds selling for thousands of dollars on Facebook? or wherever when they're only worth five dollars and fifty cents guys i don't get it <laughs> that's actually ridiculous 280 pounds of steel five dollars fifty cents i guess it's your truck bed so here you go Jeez. <laughs> uh. so i know a lot of you have been interested in this rancher sitting in the back. What we got going here is, I think I figured it out. However, to hook this up, we need the inch and seven eighths ball, so. Didn't need that anyway. But we gotta get this hitch out. I love these bolt locks, guys. Absolutely just incredible. Yeah, ooh, that needs some uh, cleaning. Then this slide out. Wow, this needs some powder coating. You may even do that. Grab our hit. This might be interesting because it's such a drop. Hitch out. Yeah, let's go with the second. Really quick, what I kind of found wrong was obviously this ATV, it wasn't charging. Place the stator, rectifier was already replaced. Obviously, I got the difficult job of doing the stator because you could take the whole case off the motor. But we replaced all that, got a new battery for it, thinking the old battery just wouldn't charge. To be honest, the old battery was kind of shot anyway. It wouldn't get past four volts while running, but when you shut it off, the battery would just die. So what I kind of found out was the only thing on this ATV, the only accessory that would ever be drawing power, because it's the only accessory on this ATV, is the 12 volt outlet. But on this 350 Rancher, there's this 12 volt outlet. I just assumed that this was the thing drawing charge. So I went underneath here, straight up, unplugged it. And so far, it's literally charging, it's running, it hasn't stopped, it's holding like 11, well, when I had the thing attached, it was at 11 volts like this. Pull started it from dead, and it's been going ever since. So honestly, I'm gonna hook it up to my truck, one, so I can take it back, and two, so I can take it for a spin, make sure it, you know, charges and runs the whole time, too, so. Let me get this other bolt lock off. I really don't like how much that's rested, so I may even sand that down and powder coat it. Same thing with this bolt lock. All bolt locks are um, keyed to the key on your vehicle, which are super awesome. So really, you're never looking for your keys, and it's only unlockable with your, uh, all right, now we're stuck. But it's only unlockable with your vehicle's key, so might need a hammer on this one. But yeah, you can only unlock it with your vehicle's key, so it's like ultimate safety, because you're the only one with the key, so that's super sweet. Yeah, this pin's a little, there we go.
All right, before all you get excited, this stack of wheels is for the last giveaway winner's truck. I thought ordering parts for my vehicles was hard. Ordering parts for other people's vehicles is hard too. Uh, everything in the world right now is back ordered. Nothing's in stock. It's just not a good time. I, think, I forget what I ordered. This is like a 15 or 18 inch drop plus another eight inch drop minus like whatever this is. So we've got an extra probably two to three inch drop past this with this hitch in there. I took the uh, sleeve out of like the stabilizer bar. So it'll probably rattle a little bit going down the road taking this back, but I had no other option. I really didn't want to go spend 20, 20 bucks on another adapter that I'm only going to use for this instance really. So uh, what we have now is our trailer is all hooked up, ready to go. Um, Hoping that, yeah, hoping that it's locked in there pretty good because the chains don't reach my hitch. They just, they just don't. They only go up to about here. I can't even clip it on here. I can't clip it on here. Can't hook it around. Just can't. The chains are way too short. That ain't DOT compliant. Neither does the wiring work. So this should be interesting. Big truck problems, I guess. All right, here we go. This should be an interesting run. Can't see the trailer. I can kind of see the trailer. All right, failure number one. There's a piece of wood with screws drilled into it on the trailer. I need to pull over and get that off. I definitely messed that one up big time. Squeaky brakes. I need Will Wood or something to get me set up with a set. My fault completely. Yeah, that's probably not safe. Everything else look good? I think so. Holding on so far. Yeah, that would have been bad on the road. Absolutely. That would have been horrible. All right, I think everything's good. There's a rubber glove. Let's not litter. All right, I think we're good with the rest of stuff. Wow, I still need to clean this back seat out, guys. See, it might be a SEMA truck. May have been a SEMA. Complete, complete, complete work truck. <laughs> complete work truck. So this trip's been going good so far. We just had a low coolant light come on uh, earlier when Katie and I were at, uh, coming back this morning from the scrapyard. There was coolant all over my passenger side running board. Oh, this, these compound turbos hauling something. I know it's light, but still. Oh, I love it. But there was coolant all over my running board. It looked like it came out of the overflow. Um, kind of tube so I don't really know but the light just came on so I'm gonna monitor that see where we're at see what's going on the I dash coolant temp is still normal so it's not super hot not super low I think maybe the sensor just like went faulty or something for a minute but we'll keep our eye on that tunnel oh that sounds so good I really want to dyno this thing after I saw Jack put down that thousand horse on his Cummins, like mine's definitely not a thousand horse, but compound turbos, hot tune, some other stuff, huge intercooler, stuff like that. I think we're kind of, I mean, we got some horsepower under this guy. Y'all know we're in Ohio, boys. Oh, we got a backhoe driving on the road, holding up traffic, but yet it's going faster than traffic. Typical, typical Ohio. Can't believe it. Look at that guy. Just gonna check on our load here. Yep, still got it. We still got it, boys. <laughs> That's fun. That's awesome. Love seeing that. All right, guys, it's actually the next day now. Brought this home last night. Um, as I was driving there, like the low coolant light came on, then it went off and then dropped off the trailer, came back, and then about a mile or so out, it kind of went on again and still uh, stayed on. So we're gonna go check on that today. However, a long time ago, TSO Manufacturing reached out to me, wanted to make a tip for my truck, but we finally got the tip here. I honestly, I told them a design I would like, and um, we kinda, we went with it. I haven't seen it yet, I haven't opened it yet. And honestly, this this has been months <laughs> in the making. Let's open it up here and we almost might be able to get that thrown on my truck after we fill the truck up with coolant. First time opening this and frankly, honestly, forget what I ordered. So let's see. Oh, oh a little hexagon tip, octagon. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
se seven sides? One, two, three, six. Wait, six, eight. Sorry, octagon. I can't believe the amount of time and just effort and work is put into these tips. This thing's also super heavy duty. Wow. I also believe that is Illusion Purple in the Kiwi Green from Prismatic, so it should match so perfectly. Oh my goodness. Oh, TSO, y'all make some wicked tips. I'm sorry, I'm looking in the screen so I can see the whole thing. Oh my goodness, you guys make some wicked, wicked tips. Looks like we're full now. Our sight glass is full as well. So now we should be good. Let me tighten this up. I got it though. I'm a little dented now. It's okay. Let me show you this before the sun goes down because it's actually quite cool. And then I'll show you guys the TSO tip on my truck, like at a distance. Hopefully, you guys can see look at that just demolished paint i know i showed you guys this before but the whole tahoe legitimately looked like that and then we come over here with the three-step polish oh that looks so good no barely i mean we're talking very fine scratches if any but it looks so good especially compared to this you guys saw how like scratched up and just awful that was so i went through today and did this whole half of the tahoe just kind of polishing it out you know bit by bit so i'm not doing it all at once because polishing does suck uh you know take your time with each panel and you'll get some awesome awesome looking results i gotta do like the lower half of the bumper trunk and then i can work my way up the other side i'll probably knock all that out tomorrow while i'm waiting on my seat belts and waiting on my replacement wheel and hopefully maybe if we're lucky we can get all that mounted and such i'll give uh the tire shop a call hopefully we can knock that out tomorrow all at once over here guys check it out here's the tso tip on the truck honestly um i think it's a perfect amount of green lots of purple on there obviously my exhaust is still not fully connected um, up here we still have the uh down pipe to the uh open space and then the exhaust is there which by now with how much i've driven it i'm almost pretty sure the tune they rewrote for this is dead clean it's just dead clean because the, usually there'd be a whole bunch of like soot all up in there but I think we're dead clean this time, so that's super cool. But yeah, that tip looks good. It's honestly an awesome, awesome finishing touch to this thing. I've got very few and very little things to do left. I do need to wash it, it's super dirty. But yeah, guys, this is one of those builds where like I've almost done, done it all. I haven't done injectors and stuff, but obviously compound turbos, stock fueling is doing great on there. And it's it's a truck on 40s. I don't need to go like super fast. I don't need some like crazy, obviously it's a stick, but if it was a, you know, an auto, I don't need some crazy built 68 RFE. Uh, this thing is, it's just massive. So we don't need to do that. I do want to get it re-geared. This one, like I said, I've almost done it all to bumpers lights wheels lift train horns giant hitch powder coating um clutch obviously you guys what else i mean obviously the seat belt safety restore once for the tahoe should be getting back and i can't wait to see them those should be awesome tint ceramic coating buffed it off did it all fender flare so i've done a lot to this truck and this build is almost coming to an end which is kind of crazy kind of like whew. but yeah guys this thing is almost like coming to a close which is absolutely nuts and the only thing i have left really is to find a tow pig to uh haul this places because not that i can't drive it everywhere but actually i want to see how it handles when it's re-geared but 
Oh, that'd be awesome to have a tow pig for this. So maybe that might be the next thing I'm looking for. But the Tahoe is looking good. Everything should be coming in this week. Obviously bringing it all the paint polished out. Just looking from here to there. This whole side is like candy and this is all just disgusting. So obviously got to do the hood trunk, uh, parts of the roof because of the roof rack, sunroof. So uh, do that stuff bumpers get all that polished out and making it look like glass and just so groovy it looks so good but yeah guys all the parts for the tahoe should be showing up very soon this week uh between the seat belts the tent i have the tent just waiting on my software to cut it for me and what else um i don't know i might be doing some stuff under the hood yet i don't know i'm gonna get the uh power steps uh ordered for this i think because now that i realize it that the nine inch lift you guys want to see how tall this thing's gonna be hopefully i got my tape measure in here oh this is perfect we're gonna have the nine inches of lift and these are i forget what size tire these are about 31 inches so you're gonna go up to 35 which in turn is four inches so you're gonna get two inches because it's the diameter so two inches from the tire nine inches from the thing that's 11 inches taller 11 inches from the top of the mirror yeah 11 inches from the top of the mirror that mirror is going to be all the way up here that's going to be above my head that's going to be one big tahoe door handle is going to be up here we're going to be grabbing the door right here that's going to be insane absolutely nuts can't wait for it so i i knew i kind of threw the idea around of having like actual like hoop steps or nerf bars on there but i think i'm going to go straight up and I'll check some prices, but I might end up with those amp power steps just because it'll be super sweet on that Tahoe. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to sweep you away. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Take care, I will see you guys in the next video. I've pretty much yeah. Peace. Peace.